Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how much money I made off a $70 investment in Fundrise. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, concerns, make sure you guys ask them down below. So now, roll the intro. Let's go. Come on. Now, for those of you that don't know what I am doing right now, I am investing $10 per month into a Fundrise account. Now, the reason why this is such a big thing is because before Fundrise, the minimum account balance was $1,000. Now, people at the time, most people don't have $1,000 to put up all at once, so they dropped it to $500, and then they just dropped it again to $10. So all you need is $10 to invest. Now, for those of you that don't know what Fundrise is, Fundrise is a crowdfunding investment app that allows people to invest in real estate. And me personally, I think that this is fantastic. The reason why is because it lets beginners get started. Now, a lot of people think you need hundreds of thousands of dollars to invest in real estate, but at the end of the day, you can invest into some high quality real estate investments for $10, which is absolutely crazy. And it can start making you some money on the um, you know appreciation side. And on top of that, you will get some dividends. Now these dividends um, are pretty much the tenants paying their rent or their lease, whatever, whatever the investment may be, you're getting you're gonna be getting a little bit of that return, which is great. Now looking at the app here as we load it up, you guys can see my total account balance is about $73.97. And that's pretty decent for somebody that's only put $70 in this. So I've gotten about almost four dollars um, in returns, which is pretty decent. As we continue to scroll down, you guys can see one thing that that's really cool is you can put a goal in. So I put a goal of $50,000. I know it could take some time, but it's a goal. As we continue to scroll down here, they do have um, a way where you can, you know, uh, recommend it to others and you guys can invite friends to earn re some rewards. So I'll put a link to mine down below if you guys want to sign up with it. As we continue to scroll down, there is a news feed that allows you to kind of get an overall idea of some of the real estate out there that Fundrise is either looking to buy or has already bought, which is pretty cool. Now, as we click this little performance button down below, you guys can see the pretty much my total account balance with everything all in one place. So you guys can see my net returns about $3.97, and my cash in slash out is $70. So I've been doing this for about seven months, $10 you know, a month for seven months gives me $70, and then my returns almost $4. As we continue to scroll down, you guys can see my 2022 uh, return is not even 1%, which isn't the greatest. But if we compare that to the S&P 500, the S&P 500 right now is down about 10%. So investing in here has a different opportunity cost than investing somewhere else. But as we click this little button here, you guys can see my all-time return is right at about 11%, which is pretty pretty good for real estate. On average, real estate grows at about 4 to 5%. Given that we've seen some extreme growth with real estate over the past year, I hope this you know trend continues. Now, as we click this positions tab, you guys can see all my total positions uh, that I'm in. So you guys can click on them. You can get an overall idea behind them. The dividends here, so you guys can see I've gotten about 44 cents in dividends. My appreciation is about $3.53, given my total return um, of about $3.97. So as we continue to grow, you guys can actually see all the different projects that you're invested in, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so as we click this project tab, you guys can see all of the different projects that Fundrise is pretty much using your money to invest in, which is really cool. So you can kind of get some, you know, almost like hands-on experience and honestly hands-on work with this. So you can actually click on, you know, a different apartment buildings or different pieces of real estate. As you guys can see, there's a um, a huge real estate complex of townhomes here that they're looking to buy or possibly already have bought in. So the overall idea behind this is allowing investors to start investing in real estate. Answering that main question, should you use Fundrise? Now me personally, I invest and do hundreds of different stocks and ETFs, you know, pretty much across the whole New York Stock Exchange. Now, for me, investing $10 into a real estate 
um, account is 100% worth it. The reason why is because it's making me more diversified. Now, making somebody more diversified is great going through recessions, uh, going through ups and downs in the market, and it's gonna reduce a lot of volatility, which is fantastic. And the overall idea behind this is trying to build this account for dividends and creating that passive income. So yes, I put $70 into this account, but I've only gotten about 44 cents of my money back. Now for me, I understand I'm just getting started with this, so I definitely think I'm gonna continue this. And if this is something that you guys are interested, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe so you guys can stay up to date with it. But if you're somebody that is just getting started, my recommendation is to open a you know stock account and to start investing on that side and then invest $10 a month into a fundraise account so you guys can balance out investing into real estate and investing in stocks. That's my recommendation, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe out there. We'll see you later. Take care.